Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. So today's video is gonna be like a everything shower routine, pamper routine. I didn't cover my hair routine in this video because I had just washed my hair, so I can do that another time. So first things first, I'm going in with the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. I heard good things about it. I'm using my exfoliator gloves to go in with it and really lather up. When I get further down the bottle, I'll let you guys know how good it is. So now I'm just rinsing off the body wash and I'm about to go in with the Tree Hut Vanilla Sugar Scrub. I used to use this in a different variation of it. I forgot what, I think it was like tropical, but I kind of had a, a reaction to it, so I stopped using it, but the other ones are pretty good and they leave your skin feeling super smooth. don't forget that soap for your special care areas don't use body wash I just applied some conditioner to my legs so that I could shave um, I don't use like any shaving creams or anything conditioner works just right so that's what I go with so now I'm about to go with this foaming facial wash usually when I shower I like to wash my face either in the shower or after the shower I usually don't do it before it's just, I don't know, I just feel like it makes more sense in my head to do it after the fact. But yeah, I love this face wash. It leaves my face feeling super moisturized and not too, like, dry. Remember, pat dry, do not rub your face or it's gonna irritate. So now I'm just gonna light this beautiful candle, which I burnt. Um, it smells amazing. I got it for my birthday and I need to find out exactly what scent it is. Now I'm about to apply my deodorant, which I use Secret in the scent Powder Fresh and this Eos Lotion in Vanilla Cashmere. Okay, so I got done with my shower, I washed my face, um, lotioned up, put deodorant on. Let me put this a little further. So my face is kind of dry right now, but I'm about to shave it. Not like with whatever it's called, but I'm about to shave my face with um, these little, I guess they're like eyebrow razors, whatever. And I have some aloe vera gel that I put on, but um, I'm about to do that real quick and show y'all. Also, y'all, I got this new cup. It's not a Stanley, but it's cute. I like it. I just like, I'm a black girly. I love everything black or like neutrals, nudes. That's my stuff. I just um, shaved my face and I did my eyebrows a little bit, like clean them up or whatever. Now I'm about to go in with the Mighty Patch for Tired Eyes. It's good for your skin, pretty sure. Well, don't quote me on that, but you could say it's good for your skin, so it's good for your skin. This is how the little packaging look. So I'm supposed to leave these on for 30 minutes, so I'll put them on and come back to y'all. Now 
that they're on my face i'm gonna talk to you guys in 30 minutes i have like a couple more minutes left on it but i'm about to do this lip scrub by fmg it's like some lip polish i got it not too long ago i've honestly never searched the difference between lip polish and um a lip scrub take this off and now we're about to start my skincare i'm about to spray my face real quick with the la roche posay thermal spring water i just like la roche posay so i bought it yeah one thing i want to say about my skin my skin is very clear but one thing that i did have a problem with was that i mean nobody could really tell unless you were like up in my face but of course i could tell but basically i had um textured like skin under like right here that would not go away for the life of me like no matter what i did it would not go away like right down here right here right here right here there's still some left on my forehead i mean it's not really visible but i can tell so it bothers me i've been using this product called um it's by polish choice it's the two percent bha liquid exfoliant salicylic acid um it unclogs and shrinks pores smooths an even skin tone and it absorbs quickly but i've honestly been using it and i kid you not i don't use it every day it's like three three times a week is what my skin permits me to do so i do it i've seen such a difference over like a week and a half um and this is an exfoliator, I guess. Like a, what is the word for it? Chemical exfoliator. You don't wash it off. It just like, it, it incorporates into your skincare routine. I mean, you can apply it with like a cotton pad, but I don't. Just apply some to your hand and you just rub it in everywhere. And I emphasize on this inner part because of all the texture skin it feels like smooth like there's no bumps whatsoever and i haven't felt that in a very long time like i mean i did everything that i could skincare wise but it's just like that specifically would not go away and i've had it for like the longest time they were just like little textured bumps and they were annoying me so this is the truth, I'm gonna stick by it till the wheels fall off. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Coco Kine Turmeric Illuminating Solution. Um, I like this a lot, it's supposed to like even skin tone and stuff. I think it's a pretty good product. So, I continue to use it. Just gonna put it in. I know some people like pat their products completely into their skin like they don't really like swirl it around they just like pat it in completely i don't know i can't do that so one thing that you definitely want to make sure to do when you do skincare is wait in between your applications because it can end up pilling and nobody wants that um sometimes i do that especially like when it's night and i just want to go to sleep i'll like put on one after the other even when it's like still a little damp and then it'll start to pill and it's the most annoying thing be patient when it comes to your skincare okay i think my skin's ready for the next thing so now i'm gonna go in with the ordinary retinol 0.5 and squalene this again this also is not a daily thing <laughs> like you have to be careful with retinol because i mean i don't know but most products you can definitely get like a chemical burn retinol is one of them you're not supposed to apply them around your eyes so i avoid that area completely not completely i'm dragging it i definitely do like a little this but i don't put it 
right there. I hope everyone's week is going good. And by the time this video releases, it's gonna be the weekend. So I hope everyone's upcoming weekend goes well. Um, we're officially in spring, so I hope the weather changes. Now I'm about to go in with the Coke Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. Another day, I had a realization that you're supposed to use a tip of this to rub it in, but I don't care. I don't know how like sanitary that is. So now that my eye cream is in, I'm about to go in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Honestly, I love this cream so much. So that's it for my shower and skincare routine. I've honestly seen a lot of difference using the Polish Choice Toner. Not toner, exfoliator. I like it a lot. I would definitely say if you get it, be careful because it can burn your skin. And it's recommended to use. We'll use it once and then see how it goes from there. Whatever. But I use it three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's it. And now I'm about to head downstairs. Make myself a granola bar. Not granola bar. A granola bowl. Y'all about to come along for that. But um yeah so that's gonna be the last part of this vlog if you guys like don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um you can leave any suggestions you want down below or anything but um i'm thankful to everyone who's subscribing who is watching who's enjoying the content and yeah so i'll see you guys next time in my next video bye